Hey, hi everyone. Welcome again to the Specialized Automations. I am Aditya and today in this video we will be seeing the Selenium parallel testing using PyTest unit testing framework in Python. Okay. So before we proceed to the next, first let me tell you what is parallel testing. So as you already aware that parallel testing is simply means that whenever, whenever we are having some kind of uh, some uh, sort of test script need to be validated against a uh, separate separate browser at the simultaneous at the same time, then by utilizing the parallel testing feature, we can do it. Uh, so it saves our time and different different thread or working node will be working on our, on our separate separate test script to carry out our executions. So at the same time, it may happen that you are accessing uh, Safari, Chrome, uh, Mozilla or uh, Internet Explorer at the same time for same script or it may happen that you are performing 10 different script at the same browser at the same time. Okay. So how we can achieve it in Python, in PyCharm? So let's get started. We'll get to know the details. Okay. Okay. So here's my sample project, and inside that, in the, inside the script folder, I've created a total five script. Uh, all the script has been implemented using the um, Python PyTest uh, Python unit testing framework PyUnit, and also I'm using the PyTest to run the script in parallel way. Okay. First, let me tell you there are three unit testing framework in Python. One is Nose we can use. Another one is a PyUnit that is coming from the Python inbuilt. Another thing is PyTest we can also use. Okay. So currently, I'm using the uh, PyUnit uh, Python inbuilt unit testing framework, and I will be utilizing the PyTest to run this all the script parallelly. Okay. So the uh, next important thing you have to remember that when you will be doing writing your test, make sure you are writing. Uh, the your test test should start with test underscore okay so t should be smaller small only if you keep it uh, capital test so for my case let me show you so in my earlier cases uh, the test name was it started with a capital t test underscore marker so if the naming conventions goes wrong so it will simply fail your test script okay so it will simply fail your test script and if you if you just start ignore the test part it test underscore so it won't able to identify your python's uh, script okay so make sure your script will start with test underscore so this is my simple uh, project structure so inside my test directory we are having some page object which will be having the different pages and the locators it's locating all this page element locators so regarding these pages and locators I already discussed in my earlier tutorial, you can just refer that. And the next important thing I'm doing test base class. This is the uh, this is containing the setup here down methods. I already discussed in my earlier uh, video and how to create base class in Python. And test suit. This test suit will be containing my test runner classes. If you want to uh, have several uh, Python classes, you want to run it uh, as a sequential order, you can utilize the test runner class. Else, there are several other features like that. We can just select the multiple class and just click on run. So you can also do that. So uh, another thing is test utility. That's uh, just like screenshot, yeah, password encoder, whatever you will be doing. Okay. So let's focus in my test script. So currently, if I run my script folder, script directory, it will only run only three tests. Why? Because these three tests started with the proper naming conventions. Okay. So you can just select all this test and you can just click on run okay or you can just select the script directory and you can just run it so first let me run it in my sequential order okay so run has been started so it will launch my uh, chrome window it will navigate to the website and it will validate their home page okay so successfully validated for the first test script and now it started the second test second chrome environment data has been started so chrome has been opened and we can see the registration progress mm, it will validate and okay so providing all the inputs clicking on submit okay now it close the browser window okay now it's um, executing that my third test that is the sign on screen it will be providing some emulate data and try to log in okay clicking on the submit button it will try to log in it won't be able to log in obviously so 
okay so three tests that took around 66 seconds we can see if you run it sequential order and all the tests have been passed successfully is the green signal you can see so the next important thing uh, we are going to run this test in parallel so how we can do that so for for that we need to have several uh, package need to be installed so let me tell you what package you need you should have like for that we need pi pi test rerun failures the nose pi test pi test exist this is very important if you want to run your case test script in parallel way and then multi processing so all this thing you can just install through your pip commands pip install pi pip install nose pip install pi test and so separately i will suggest to do not to go uh, for separate installation of this rather uh, create a text file that i have created requirement.txt file and just install this text install all these things from this from your text file okay so in the text requirement text file i have mentioned all these things along with all the latest versions this is the latest version currently using you can just easily get the latest uh, versions like for pytest latest version you want to get just search on your chrome uh, pytest latest version so pytest latest version is currently 3.2.3 that you can see so pytest so if you for each and everything i'm currently using the latest versions one more thing you you should also having this multi processing that is the latest 2.6.21 but i won't be needing that cause currently i'm using my versions python 3.6.3 okay let me show you okay see the currently python version 3.6.3 currently i'm using so the multi processing unit this is a library that by default come with the later version of python 3 series okay so you don't need that rest of the thing will be installing let's delete that part save it and one thing is important guys if you are using pycharm so if you are already having the default terminal window okay so whatever I am doing through my command prompt, you can also have the terminal window. So you can just type in here also CLS. So you can do it from here or you can just do it from here also. Okay, this is just fine. You can just simply type on Python over here also to see the versions. See the same thing basically it's doing. So let me show you my, from my command prompt. Okay. So my earlier test that took sequential order run that it took around 66 seconds, 66 second time. Now, uh, where is my test? Look, uh, now I have to install this uh, requirement file. So where this requirement has been located? This is located inside this Selenium Python project. Okay, so copy the path CD this part i'm going then in pip install minus r r for it will install all the files from the requirement folder requirement text dimensions so for my case i already have installed all these things so it's showing the requirement already satisfied or else we will uh, this will start your uh, uh, installing all these requirements okay so already all these things have been successfully installed so let me just do one thing now inside that i want to run my test script so inside that uh, all my tests located inside the test script directory uh, just let me just do it so the command is pi dot test minus n and how many test scripts are there total three okay so I'll show you total three test scripts are there so the command is go will pi dot test minus n dot three. You are just clicking on enter, so it will start our parallelization. So you will see total three Chrome will get opened. Let me close this Chrome. Okay, so three Chrome browser has opened at the same time. You can see. Okay, all the working uh, node is currently operating on each and every test script. So scheduling test bash uh, load, load scheduling so one test has been successfully completed now it's doing the second operations this also has been completed now we're doing it all, and the third one is uh, already in operations okay. 
okay so three tests has been run successfully in parallel way and we have seen that total three passed in 39 second meanwhile while we are executing in sequential order it took around 66 seconds so when you will be having more than 10 or 12 cases we will see the time difference will be huge so it will uh, if you go over sequential order if you, it will take around four to five minutes and if you do it parallelly it will take hardly one to two minutes okay so so the time difference we can see this is a uh, almost like it's like uh, double okay so now uh, guys we have seen that how you can run our test script in python parallel way so all you need to install all these packages and then you need to pass to your command like pi dot test minus n dot three okay another way you can do that they already discussed uh, earlier that you might test runner classes you, you can also run it as a concurrent suit this way also but uh, i don't prefer it cause uh, all the result that coming from your test will be will not be thread safe so it will be overlapping the result will be overlapped okay so i will suggest to use pi test and use the uh, Python PyTest exist. This is very important for parallel testing. And use it with the nodes. Okay, so you will get to do the parallel testing along with this will be thread set. As we will see, the three working, uh, three separate working nodes working on several uh, separate separate uh, Python uh, test classes. So that's all for today, guys. So if you have more to know, please do let me know in the below comment section. So I'll be happy to help you regarding this. Okay. So and if you like this video, please do not forget to support and subscribe this channel. Uh, so have a good day, everyone. Bye bye.